Hello. It's a very special day today. What day is today? Today's the day when I get a new short box. Here we go. Short box. Very nice packaging. Put together. I just ripped it open the back before I realized what it was and I saw the short box. So I've yet to see it inside. So there we go. Let's go take a look. Short box is um well, it's weird because it markets itself a little bit like Loot Crate, but it's something totally different. It's um, original, small press coin books, commissioned, I think, for the box itself, and published um, and collated and put out. So you know what you're getting, at least you get before you pay it, before you buy it, before it turns up. Um, of course, I bought this back in, I think it was probably about May, April, May, and so of course, and now I've totally forgotten anything and everything that's coming. So it's a complete little surprise, except that there's bound to be some really fun coming books and a few sweets as well. So let's see what we can find. Opening up, let's see what's inside. A little bit of a, oh, well, oh we, and we're all doing some sweets. We have a didab. Now that's a particular favorite of my younger girls. So um, they'll be the recipients of a little didab. So sweets, always nice. Um, there's kind of comics and uh, print as well. So let's see what's inside, okay. Oh, it's Louis Markey. Um, we have a print here. As well as some info about the people uh, in this week's, uh, or this, well, this year. Sorry, there's only one this year. This year's um, short box. So we can take a look and see what they are up to. As well, so let's take a quick look and see what we have. Okay. Charming Dog Adventure comic by Pipette and Dudley. There we go. Um, nice bit of thickness. No... You know what I mean? Actually, you know, never mind the quality, feel the width, but you know, you can also the quality too. But it's always nice to get a little bit of something with a bit, of, a slight bit of heft, and um, the, the dimensions do kind of help that, don't they? Okay, let's have a quick look inside. So it's, so it's, the, so it's, it's kind of a, uh, the color shape style of theirs. Get that feel. I'm going to totally look forward to this. This is just kind of thing I'll be enjoying. Uh, this, I would say, um, if that's a sunny day today, this is just the kind of thing for reading in the garden. It's definitely got that kind of gardeny feel to it. Um, not the late nights with um, several bottles of uh, wine, although maybe some more those to come, let's see. Talking of which, let's take a quick look at what we have here. This is Interim by Alistair Chan. Oh, I mean, just, that, again, the design of these things is beautiful. You know. It's got that kind of feel of the kind of a book that um, in years, years gone by, uh, Chris Ware might have put out. But, uh, and that's, uh, yes, beautiful. that's very, very pretty. So again, conceptually have no idea yet, but that's proper comics. This is very nice. Yeah, now this, I would suggest, is the kind of thing to be read um, in the late hours with a nice bottle of uh, dark fruity, Red wine of your choice. Um, was this, I think, is to be best uh, seen with uh, various hallucinogenic drugs. As it says, friends, video games, space stuff, and lesbians, which is just the kind of thing uh, you'll get from Nuria Martinez. Martinez. Uh, and yes, this is definitely got that kind of, it's a spaced out feel. Again, it's just, just lovely. Isn't that, isn't that lovely the way they use the, the architecture of the place to do comic book? Pounds to draw the eye. That's beautiful. Um, again, I'm just judging by the artwork and the concept, but conceptually, this is bang on. My kind of thing. It's it's playing with the form, the medium. It's doing weird stuff with panelling, um, and it just it dazzles and excites. So yeah, fantastic. I'm oh, I'm three for three. These are just the kind of comics I'm looking for. So that's great. Um, and we have there's two more. We have, <laughs> again, a great title, uh, Dead End Jobs for Ghosts. And that's by Amanda Dalliwell. And, um, yeah, oh, black and white. It's with a, okay, now we're looking at, a, there's a, there's, there is a um, traditional manga um, influence. But it's, um, yeah, this is, it's, that, it's it, this is, this, okay, what's the best way for this? This is, Short, tight storytelling. This is, there are stories that need to be told here, it seems to be, and there's a narrative, a big, strong flow. Stuff has happened, or stuff is happening, and it's being crammed in, so it's using a lot of, using the space well. 
So it's nice, nice bit of a dense read. Um, so I've, do you know what? Bedtime reading. Although, you know, I don't know how, if it'll be a freaky show, I'll have to see that, but that's, that's, that's very nice. Let's see what else, and we have a final book here. Um, she would feel the same by uh, Emma Hunsinger. And again, a different look. Chloe and Phoebe's relationship has ended amicably. Neither instigated the breakup, they just agreed it was time. Chloe insists the disbelieving messes that it's truly fine, but can love really disappear like that? Yeah. So again, it's a, again, a totally different look. This is much more like kind of that, that vague kind of sketch. It's the, the idea of, of uh, using telling comic book stories through what would otherwise be using like initial sketches. It's kind of, it's free flowing, it's energetic. Um, it's of the moment. And it means you can do the little kind of little detail moments as well. Um, and um, yeah, okay, Charles, but this is, yes, uh, this is kind of stuff I would remember. This is much more kind of your classic small press comic book of late 80s, early mid 90s. Um, and it's got that kind of throwback feel to it. And so, yes, I'll totally be enjoying this. This is the kind of stuff I might remember from something like Jerry Dennis. It's got that kind of feel to it. Um, and yeah. I'm looking forward to this. So that, that's that's a good little chunk of uh, comic books here. Um, different takes, different styles, and some will suit, and some I, some I will enjoy more than us, I am sure. Um, I'll get back to you on that. Um, and some I just can't wait to, uh, as soon as this is over, to get down to uh, watching. And yes, yeah, so September 2020, and I think that is all I'm gonna get for 2020. It's, I'm afraid it's been that kind of year. Um, I'm really looking forward to these. So, thank you so much to Shortbox. I mean, I say thank you. We obviously are paid the money. I'm very happy to, because this is um, a fantastic uh, way, especially in a time when, you know, the conventions aren't here. And the places I would normally go to buy small press comics are less uh, accessible. Um, I've noticed, you know, in, in shops like, you know, Orbital and Gosh, there hasn't been the numbers. Things you might not have expected, because like, a lot of people, I guess, have not had access to the production facility they might have otherwise had let alone the distribution networks right now so uh sh thank you shortbox you're doing uh, the laws work here so um i get a whole bunch of comic books to thoroughly enjoy delivered it that i had no idea what i've had I'd forgotten um and so they come as a nice surprise and um yeah as far as i understand you can't get this elsewhere so there's a little bit of the exclusivity to it as well which is always well it's nice isn't it and dib dabs do you know what far too good for the kids so thank you and i look forward to seeing whatever short box brings us in 2021 can't be that long till then isn't it surely can't be too far 2020 must be over by now really no still a bit left 